Gilderoy Lockhart. I even wish we had him back instead of Umbridge. Wingardium Leviosa! That was there. There are more things to see in the room we found, Harry. Wicked! Werewolves. Umbridge must have been teaching the third years. You know she helped pass anti-werewolf legislation, don't you? That's why Professor Lupin can't get a job now. People used to complain when Moody showed us practical magic. Kittens! A scorpion or a toad would be more like her. Wingardium Leviosa!
all the dash and piff. I hope the three of you have completed your research into counter charms for your homework. Remember, your OWL exams may influence your futures for many years to come. Yes, of course, Professor. There's just one more counter charm I need to check before I hand my essay in. Uh, yeah, me too. I know the perfect book. Achievements in Charming. But it's been checked out from the library. We'll need to find whoever has it. Please keep your mind on one thing at a time. One essay researching counter charms is what I require from you. We'd better find that book you mentioned, Hermione. Have you completed your counter charms essay, Mr. Potter? If not, then please go and do so. I wonder who's got the library book we need. You should complete your essay on counter charms before worrying about anything else. Let's go and find that charms textbook so we can do this homework. Hello. Studious success. A healthy mind is an inquisitive mind. What a good day for me. There's just one more counter charm I need to check before I hand my essay in. I wonder who's got the library book we need. Let's go and find that charms textbook so we can do this homework. and charming you're reading. Can I have a quick look? Yes, yes, of course. Well, that was obvious. Yeah, completely obvious. All we've got to do now is write the essay. Uh... Oh, for goodness sake. You'll have to do your own essay sometime. And so, therefore, and they, and in conclusion, Right, let's take these essays back to Professor Flitwick. Good day! Right, let's take these essays back to Professor Flitwick. Want to practice charms? I'll meet you in the courtyard. Okay. Studious success. You may pass, Mr. Potter. Another day's education. Professor Flitwick, we've brought you the homework you asked for. Excellent, Miss Granger, excellent. I'm sure these will do you all credit. Quidditch practice going. All right, I suppose. Are Fred and George helping you? If you count laughing every time I miss the quaffle as helping, then yeah. As you are aware, this is an important year for your studies. We shall be working harder than ever to ensure that you do yourself justice. Let us begin. Well, Mr. Potter, let us get started. I shall call out the charms I want you to perform, and we will see how many you can cast within the time limit. Your time begins now. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Reducto. Reducto. Reparo. Reparo. Accio. Accio. Deposo. 
Tommaso! Accio! Incendio! Incendio! Reducto! Moro! Well done. Well done indeed, Mr. Potter. I would grade that at outstanding. All the dash and live. Studious success. A healthy mind is an inquisitive mind. What a good day for living. Slytherins are supreme, I don't think. If I didn't have to open, I'd leave you out here, Potter. Wretched Jorah. Ah, Potter. After your last feeble attempt at potion-making, I expect you to write twelve inches of parchment on the properties of Moonstone. No excuses. But I've already got lots of homework! And Potter, anything less than acceptable, and you will suffer my... displeasure. You are an amazement to me, Potter. I didn't think even you could continue such a miserable record of academic failure. Essay, Potter, whilst you have ably demonstrated that you cannot read instructions, I expect you to at least be able to listen to them. Great. Just what I need. What a complete git. I know just the book you need. If we're passing the library, you can check it there. Shut it. Slytherins are supreme. Hardly. I wish I could tell Professor Snape of your sneaking. Studious success. You may pass, Mr. Potter. Another day's education. <sighs> now, what you need for Professor Snape's essay is magical drafts and potions. Library's on the second floor. I think Hermione would spend her holidays in the library if she could. Snake never gives us easy homework, does he? We need to check the shelves in the potion section. Let's check in the library. Magical drafts and potions will be in the potion section. Check the shelves in the potion section. Let's check in the library. Magical drafts and potions will be in the potion section. 
We need to check the shelves. This is the book we need. Oh look, Moonstone is sometimes known as the Wishing Stone. Um, Hermione? Oh no, you have to write this essay. But I suppose I could correct it for you. And so therefore, and they, and in conclusion, right, let's take these essays back to Professor Snape. Right, let's take these essays back to Professor Snape. Snape never gives us easy homework, does he? Another day's education. Studious success. A healthy mind is an inquisitive mind. Ball and dash. Professor Snape, I've brought you my essay on moonstones. Indeed. Let us see if you can differentiate between monkshood and moonstone, shall we? I suppose this is acceptable. Follow me. But I must remind you, Potter, you will not be able to rely upon Miss Granger when you take your owl. Wingardium Leviosa! Accio! Incendio! Reparo! Here to revise, Potter. Make sure you don't waste my time. Begin. Wingardium Leviosa!
Wingardium Leviosa! Time is up. Let me examine your handiwork. Surprisingly, you have earned an outstanding. But remember that you will have to do your exam alone. So funny. Miss Granger, I have a little task for you. By you, I mean Gryffindor's two new prefects. Yes, Professor? I am standing here in expectation of a group of first-year boys arriving for detention. However, by all reports, they are hiding in the Divination Tower instead. Please tell them to come here immediately. Of course, Professor McGonagall. Those first-years still haven't arrived. They must still be in the Divination Tower. If you could spare the time to look for them. I'd thought better of you, Weasley, Miss Granger. Please inform the first-year boys hiding in the Divination Tower that I wish to speak to them. I'm afraid I have no time to talk until the first-year detention is over. What's up with these midges? There's no way I would have ignored Professor McGonagall when I was a first year. No, of course not, Ronald. In your first year, all you did was fight a troll, save an illegal dragon, and ignore the advice of Professor Dumbledore so Harry could fight Professor Quirrell. <laughs> Let's go to the Divination Tower. No news is good news. Harry Potter, mad, ain't you? Having fun, are we? All right. Three heads are better than one. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Don't forget that Professor McGonagall wants us to talk to those first years. We should talk to those first years for Professor McGonagall. Don't forget that Professor McGonagall wants us to talk to those first years. Professor McGonagall told us those first years were somewhere around here. You're Harry Potter. Did you really fight he who must not be named? And some big snake thing in the second year. And win the Triwizard Tournament? Yeah. Wow. And Professor McGonagall told Harry here to find some snotty-nosed first years who were cheeky enough not to turn up to her detention. She said if you didn't go, then Harry could feed you all to the dragon that lives in the kitchens. There's not really a dragon in the kitchens. Is there? Want to find out? Then hop it. I don't remember making things up to terrify first years, being in our talk on how to be prefects. Yeah, well, the midges need to learn a little respect. This is time.
time I... This is time I could be spending on revision, Harry. It is our OWL year, after all. Three heads are better than one. That depends entirely on the heads. Have an excellent day today. Can you help me with my homework? Sorry, you'll have to ask someone else. No news is good news. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, call blimey. Potter, Weasley, Miss Granger, what's this I hear about dragons in the kitchens? Please don't tell first years things like that. Someone's bound to be silly enough to believe you and go looking for them. However, ten points to Gryffindor for ingenuity. Some things to show you in our secret room. You don't have to bring the others if you don't want to. <laughs> Whatever it is, we'll have to wait until later. I have things to do, Mr. Potter. You'll have to talk to me later. I have school business to take care of. I'm afraid I'm a little busy right now. Surely you have studies to attend to? Move along. You'll have to talk to me later. Shove off! Malfoy will sort you out, Potter. I'm sick. <laughs> Potter, Weasley and Miss Granger, I trust you're up to date with your homework. Don't forget, I'm expecting your essay on self-fertilising shrubs for tomorrow's lesson, and I hope I don't have to remind you that this is your owl, yeah? No, Professor Sprout. She hopes she didn't have to remind us. As if we could forget. Every teacher keeps reminding us every lesson. Where are we going to find a book on self-fertilising shrubs? Neville will explain. Let's find him. Come on, Harry. There are lots of new things to see in our secret room, Harry. Let's find Neville. Let's find Neville. We need to find Neville, Harry. Neville will explain. Let's find him. Come on, Harry. Hi, Harry. Okay, Harry. Hiya. Had any more hallucinations? Yeah, yeah. Studious success. You may pass, Mr. Potter. What a good day for the. Let's find Neville. Neville. 
Hi, Neville. Do you know anything about self-fertilizing shrubs? Of course. I've got a book, Flesh-Eating Trees of the World, which has got some really good pictures of them. It's on my bedside table in the boys' dormitory if you want to borrow it. Thanks. Do something, Harry. Fred and Jewel. What? They m hmm. Hermione. What does the book say? I'll fetch it from the boys' dormitory. What does the book say? I'll fetch it from the boys' dormitory. What does the book say? I'll fetch it from the boys' dormitory. Flesh-eating trees of the world. This is what we need for Professor Sprout's essay. Uh, Hermione, could you help me with the opening paragraph? Oh, all right then. And so therefore... Right. Let's take these essays back to Professor Sprout. Right. Let's take these essays back to Professor Sprout. Possible? Scurrilous scoundrel. Studious success. A healthy mind is an inquisitive mind. Bob. Hiya. How are you? Hi. Professor Sprout, we've brought you our essays on self-fertilizing shrubs. Excellent work. Superb diagrams as well. Ten points to Gryffindor. Well, if you have time to spend on your herbology, as owl students, you're welcome to use the greenhouses. to revise herbology, are you? Excellent. Well, let's get to it. This crop of mandrakes is ready for repotting. Wingardium leviosa will do the trick. Now, let's see how quickly you can do it, Mr. Potter. Off you go, then. Wingardium leviosa. Quickly, put it into its new pot. 
worry in public before it wakes up. Move it to the empty box. Move it to the empty box. Drakes, Mr. Potter. Outstanding! There are lots of new things to see in our secret room, Harry. <laughs> All the hats I knitted had gone this morning. I wish you'd helped me knit some more last night. Uh, I would have. But I had to do a sketch of something to do with sticks for care of magical creatures. They're bow truckles. Honestly, Ron, you were only holding one two days ago. 